to be rooted and grounded in love. And to get so comfortable with love, when you get comfortable with love, you get comfortable with God because God is love, 1 John 4, 16. Let me say that again. I want you to be Ephesians 3, 17, so rooted and grounded in love so that you know how high and deep and wide and long that love is. According to how comfortable you are with love is how comfortable you are with God because God is love. And the area in your life that is not comfortable with love is also not comfortable with God. And when there's love deficiency in your life, there's going to be God deficiency in your life. And this is also so much part of the testimony of my life because now in the next moment, now life, now when you're saved and, and you're born again, and what we need to do, you need to study because that's what we do. So we have Bible study because you need to know this Jesus that saved you. Don't you want to know him? Oh, yes, I want to know him. And before you know it, we have Bible study. And then, wow, we have these prayer meetings. And we young people, we gather together and pray. And you need to, to talk and communicate with the lover of your life, don't you? And I said, oh, yes, I, of course. And then the next moment, we have witness and outreaches. You cannot keep this to yourself. You're just going to get fat if you keep this to yourself. <laughs> we need to share Jesus with other one. Don't you want to share this good? Oh, yes. And, and before you know it, you do not realize things because there's something in you where you suddenly now realizing that you're trying to do all these things for him because you don't know how to live from him. And there's nothing wrong. There's just something that is not right. So I went from being a prodigal son, and I'm just giving you a short summary in the first session, but I wanted to share some of my story because on the inside I had an orphan spirit and an orphan heart. Good parents. Knew Jesus, and later on I got to know the Holy Spirit pretty well. But still, I was not comfortable with love. So there was area in my life I was not comfortable with God. So what I do is I, if I serve him, if I do these right things, because the orphan world is based upon the simple thing, but it is I do. Say I do. Then I have. Say then I have. Then I become. Say I become. So the orphan wall is I do, then I have, then I become. It's very different than the sons because the sons and daughters is I am, say I am. I am. And because I am, I have, I have. I and because of what I have, I do, say I do. I do. And you hear me again. It is not what you do that makes you who you are. It is who you are that makes you do what you do. Because that orphan in you is looking for affirmation. It's looking for love. And many times you're going to look for love in the wrong places if you're not comfortable with love. But before Jesus had done anything, he had been baptized in water. He also was baptized in the Spirit. The dove came. But then he was baptized in love. He was affirmed by his Father before he had done anything. Before he had done any, before he healed any sick, before he went out and did any prophetic activation. But what if you have an A plus before you take the exam? Yeah. Will you live and love differently? There's an incredible freedom. This is actually what Jesus had before he had done anything. This is my, this is my beloved. This is my beloved son. And this is the experience that I'm about to have. I had read about D.L. Moody. I had read about D.L. Moody talking about this liquid love. And so I had read about that. I read about Charles Finney when he also was talking about this, both the power, the electricity, and the love. So I read stories in history books. And for me, that was just something back then in history book. Until this day, and I knew Jesus. I knew the Holy Spirit. I just didn't know the Father. I knew about him. I knew about him, but he seems to be a little bit bipolar in nature. So I was a little bit nervous about Papa God. I didn't know him as my father because often Jesus was between me and him. And then when I did the right things, he was turning towards me when I did the wrong thing. So you just get so focused on yourself. When Tom and Dr. Mike introduced me, the, the, the core value, they shifted everything else. Before there, I tried to be a pastor, to be a husband, being a father, to be a missionary, be a pioneer, being this, that, pressure. Being a little boy with Papa, pleasure. Why live from pressure when you can live from pleasure? Liquid love came over me and ended words as life, you're my, you're my beloved, you're my beloved son, son, son. I love you. I love you. And then he said, and I am well pleased with you. When the pleasure came over me, the 
pleasure of the Father. First time in my life I had a God that looked like Jesus. And it's not been one single day, honestly speaking, since that day. I'm not saying that life has been easy. But I have not questioned how good Papa God is and how loved I am. That has become the core value. And now I want everyone in the world. I want every Muslim, Sunni, Shia Muslim. I want every Hindu. I want every Buddhist. I want every Democrat, Republican. <laughs> I want everyone to know how good he is and how loved they are. I want everyone to experience a God that looks like Jesus. And as part of my assignment with each one of you, how would it look like for each one of us to, <laughs> as a beloved son and daughters, when the Papa says, as I am, so are you. What would it look like for each one of us to be able to represent him in such a way that we're full of love, full of power, and full of wisdom. That's what we're going to go after. When you get comfortable with love, so Ephesians 3.17, I'm just paraphrasing so you can read these verses yourself. They're rooted and grounded in love. How high and deep and wide and long is Papa God love for me? Hey! <laughs> <clears throat> Let's just try to do rooted and grounded in love. Rooted and grounded in love. Rooted and grounded in love. Hey. Rooted and grounded in love. Hey. Oh, high and deep and wide and long is Papa God love for me. Hey. Oh, high and deep and wide and long is Papa God love for me. Hey. Rooted and grounded in love. Hey. Rooted and grounded in love. Hey. And then it says, then the fullness dwells in there. So according to how deep and high and wide and long this love is has to do with how much of the fullness not measure but fullness and then you're stepping into Ephesians 3 20 now not yesterday or tomorrow now to him who is able now God's ability exceedingly abundantly more than you can think and ask follows from that place so when the root system is rooted and the foundation is love and your identity being a beloved son and daughter as a starting point of a good, good papa. And all I do is what I see my father do. All I say is what my father says. And suddenly son and a daughter with a dove. Whoa. <laughs> so this is the picture of Jesus. So the dove came, but not just to visit Jesus. The dove stayed with Jesus. Didn't just have visitation, but habitation. But what we do is because if we don't have those root systems in place, we have the dove visiting. Oh, it was amazing. And then we go with pigeons the rest of the week. And pigeon religion is very different than when the dove is there. <laughs>